I'm Alexander Wires. I'm a associate professor here in the Department of Economic Mathematics. I've been working about six years here at Sufi. Looking for work, really. I went to a postdoc in Canada for two years, and Feng Ying, uh, my wife Li Feng Ying, she got a job here at Sufi after a PhD program. And so um, we were able to interview and apply, and it turned out it was a good fit. And so I was hired after my postdoc in Canada. And uh, that's how I came to China. So the lifestyle is very easy. Nashville, where I did my PhD, I lived there for five years, is a very easy city to live in, right? In some sense, Chengdu and Nashville share certain similarities in that. It's a very easy city to, to live in. A lot of things can be nearby and they can be easy to get to. And so I find living here in Chengdu shares a lot of similarities to living when I was in Nashville, right? It's, it's a very welcoming city. I mean, my time here has been excellent and and perhaps that's helped a lot in adapting. Maybe I'll give a, a little more abstract answer to that question. The abstract answer, which I think is more true, is that it's expo meeting people, living in a place that has its, that comes from its own, its own development, its own mindset, its own whatever that means. I, mean, I, I feel in a in a very real sense, people are much closer related, even no matter where you live. I mean, you find that it's like genetics, really. The difference between people is so minuscule. You know, like a few genes change here and there, but we're really the same. And that's even true with culture. It's hard to forget that. You, you get a sense of the universal nature of people, even the different kind in a different context is a brotherhood, a sisterhood of humanity. If I just stayed in the United States, I wouldn't have experienced to know in a real way, right? I, I couldn't honestly say. I mean, before coming to China, the US press, the media, writes a lot of articles about what's the future of China? What's this gonna happen? That's gonna happen and they're all wrong. Just from living here, I know they're wrong. And I can understand their motivation. They write those things for reasons other than being accurate, right? Other than understanding things. I feel like no one really knows what things are gonna be like in 10 years. I can only, I can tell you that I feel positive. I feel positive. There's a growing middle class in the U.S., the middle class is shrinking. Wages are stagnant. But in China, there's actually a growing middle class. In, in a sense, that's remarkable, right? So that means there's fam. When we go outside at night after work, you know, walk around the neighborhood, there's all these families. And this is what I've talked in the last six years when John suddenly there's all these new people moving in and new families and and they have jobs and they're living a middle-class lifestyle and access to a middle-class lifestyle. From my experience growing up, it was the opposite. Like the middle-class life was shrinking. You know, buying a home, owning a home or renting an apartment is harder and harder, but here it's possible. Getting a job right out of school that you can start paying and making a living or saving even a little money. My experience before that, you know, that was on the down trajectory back in the United States. But here it's the opposite, right? So what will things happen? I have no idea, but it's very positive. There's, there's a recent reform about homework and schools for young kids, elementary yeah. school, and what will the effect of that be? I don't know. But the fact that there, there, something is being tried, right? 
there's a reform, what will happen? Will it be positive or negative? I don't know, but the hope is that it be positive and they're trying something, right? The possibility of effective change is a very good feeling.